All right, I tell you that whole big lengthy story and I had to have it cut off. Thankfully, the kid cut me off for you because it was getting out of control. But I tell you all that because it's never too late to change things about yourself or your life that you think will better your quality of life, no matter how big you think that they impact who you are. And when I talk to clients and friends and family, the things they do and the things they partake in, they do them because they think it's going to make them feel better. I mean, I know that that stuff kind of seems like, well, it's bad for you. Why would you do? But that's why you do it. You know, the alcohol, I want to de-stress. The food, well, it's just tasty and it makes me feel good. That's what we're looking for. Is that distracting? No? Okay, good. Um, so when it comes to feeling good, that is what you want ultimately. And to get back to the person that like your core stuff, you know, like you want to be lighthearted and you want to laugh and you want to love and you want to just feel bubbly and energetic. Um, that stuff doesn't go away. And when you start to, t to peel away things that you think are, make you like, the drinker and the partier or the person that smokes or, um, you know, the person that works out all of the time, because even healthy habits can get out of control if you let them consume and, and start to take over who you are. I believe. <laughs> anyway, uh, once you start to peel those away, your core stuff is still there. And it's kind of nice to resurface that. I should say. Um, now, the way that you can go about this, because nobody likes to be told what to do. This is a big, this is a big deal. Here it is. Here it is, everybody. Here it is. Whether your cage over here, and I say, don't do that. You can't do that. The way that they respond to that is <clears throat> pretty negatively. I don't like to be told that. So instead, I change the way I say things sometimes. So instead of saying, you know, don't do that, I say, how about we go over and ABC, whatever. When it comes to you being an adult, you're basically the same. So when you talk to yourself about starting a new habit or get, getting rid of one that you've known for so long, to say to yourself, well, I can't drink or I've been a, a lazy slob for this long. It's, it's about time that I change this and that. Your brain and say your mind and your heart really, um, it hears that and it has a couple of reactions. One, it's probably like, damn, why are you so hard on me? But it also is, don't tell me what to do. I, you, I can do whatever I want. I'm an adult. So there's this constant conflict of, you can't smoke that cigarette. And then it's like, yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. And it's all you. Because <laughs> nobody else really cares. It's all you. So instead of, I can't, I'm never, I'm done, I'm this, I'm that. I'm not saying don't be stern with yourself. Because there is a battle in the beginning. You have to fight for what you think you're worthy for. But the way that you talk about it can be very different. Instead of, I can't, it can be, why do you want to? I know I'm worth more than that. I want to feel better and I know this will help me. I'm stronger than the power than that cigarette has over me. I know that in the long run, this will get easier. It's very hard right now because I've never done this before. And this has been who I thought I was for so long. It took me a long time to build this habit up. It's not going to just go away overnight, but I feel really good that I'm trying and I'm going to try again in the next hour and I'm going to try again tomorrow and I'm going to try again. And then all of that builds up to this really lengthy time where all the while you're exploring and figuring out who you are. What? Who you are without that stuff. And uh, that in and of itself is such an accomplishment and you get to ride that wave while not beating your kids. You get to ride that wave of accomplishment as you're not partaking in the actual act. You know, you start to live that freedom and then pretty soon it becomes... It's, it goes less from like, 
you know, you're, oh God, I just want this and why, what am I going to do instead to, well, this is kind of nice and, hmm, I don't really need that. That's really nice. And then you start to just be easier about it. So new year resolutions, um, I, like I said, I don't hate them. I just think that people go about them in the wrong way. They diss themselves for the year that they've had. Can you take that please? Thanks. They talk badly about themselves of um, all the 365 days that they have failed. And they turn it into, you know, I'm not going to do that this year. Instead of, you know what? Those 365 learnings that I had served a purpose and they showed me what I don't want. And I'm worth more than that. I am worth at least trying. And even if it's a little bit tougher than I thought it was going to be, I'm stronger than even I can imagine. So I'm not going to put any limits on myself as far as what I'm capable of. I'm just going to have some faith within myself and do it. <laughs> I'm going to just do it. And then I'm going to reach out for help if I need it with people that are on my side. And um, I'm going to ride the wave of freedom every minute that I don't go back to the person that I thought I was simply because I made it a habit and, uh, you know, a belief, a belief that I thought I had. Did that make sense? So get after it. You're worth the change. Um, if you, if you want to make that change for the better and if it makes you feel better and it doesn't matter what anybody else says, it doesn't matter, um, if you think it takes a long time, time is all relevant anyway. The journey is all part of it. <laughs> Seven minutes. You know, one last piece of this. This this just happened today. It is Carlo and Cage. You really can't. This just happened today, but this was really this was mind opening for me too. I've always been I've I've been working on changing this. Because back when I was feeling really crappy and negative, I was a very sarcastically funny person. And while sarcasm is, um, I'm pretty witty, so I'm very good at it. But somewhere along the line, I showed love that way. So I was very, uh, uh, I don't know, like funnily combative when it came to that. And I saw my flaws in that a while ago, but I've been like working to change that. So today I woke up. And I walked out of my bedroom and I gave Carlo like a great big hug, like a hug where like you hug and then you put your head on their shoulder, that kind of thing. And he said to me, are you okay? Do you feel sick? And I said, no. Oh my God, this is like almost impossible. I don't know if this is as distracting. He, I just knocked him out. No. Um, so I hugged him and I put my head on his shoulder and he asked me if I had, if I was sick and if there was anything wrong. And in that moment, I realized that the only time that he thinks I hug him that way is when I am in pain or I'm sick, not just to show love. So one of the things that I'm not going to say it's a New Year's resolution, but it is something that I... Um, I'm aware of now and I'm going to do differently is the way I show love and um, receive it receive it and show it and and uh, appreciate it so that's a whole nother video and this one's gotten out of control too I gotta go so comment or message me about what you got going on um, your your resolutions or your your feel goods or you know where you're at thanks for hanging with me for two 10 minute videos i know it can get pretty hairy because of that okay do you want to say goodbye now that you're super quiet see you guys <laughs>